I was really sneaky tonight. We're at the fabulous Emla and I've pushed the clock forward to dusk with the race to finish in the dark instead of dry, bright daytime. This is going to cause all sorts of challenges. As it gets dark, it gets damp, and as it gets damp, it gets slippery, and the bongo racers will have to learn to overcome these changing conditions. How will they do? Let's watch and see. We all make it safely through the first complex, but the first victim of the changing track is Mark Healy in his BMW who goes to the beach a little early. Mark will be through the wars tonight. Out in the lead we have Leo LaSalle, closely followed by Dan Mathias and Lauren Marrell in the second Blackfire Lamborghini. The toothy Porsche of Roger Leopardi is right in the fight with plucky Steve Hughes in his McLaren and Zach in the first AMG, watching and waiting. But what's this? Zach isn't prepared to wait and he's heard about the beach from Mark and he wants in on the Baywatch action. These evolving conditions are testing the guys to the limit. Get your Factor 50 out because Leopardi's toothy beast is hungry for Lamborghini. Oh, they just touch. Amazing, they both managed to gather it together. The Lamborghini's not ready for dinner. Meanwhile, the chasing pack isn't far behind and Mark is eyeing up a whole string of victims. Chris Mogg has a cheeky peek around the outside of Dara Walsh in his, um, tasteful BMW. <laughs> but it's not to be this time. The Ferrari of Mr. Berg has a ringside seat behind Healy and a struggling Davy Mack. Mark is being overly friendly with the side of the AMG. Enough for a trip to HR. Mr. Berg seizes the opportunity and slides up the inside of the BMW. Oh, I, I may have to go to HR as well. The threesome, sorry, three-way battle continues and Davy Mack gets a little respite as Healy and Berg squabble over seventh. The leader LaSalle comes into the pit, but 85 and the pit lane don't go. Drive through. Davy Mack touches the grass and he too heads for his red swimsuit. Steve Hughes hits the water, so he luckily stays away from the beach. The next few corners destroy my chances of holding on to fifth in my Aston Martin. Heading down into Aqua Minerale, I compromise my line, leaving the door open for Steve Hughes. Davy Mack charges in hot and goes wide. I lift slightly as he rejoins and I tighten my angle to avoid and get tapped on the backside by a barreling BMW of Mark Healy. A lap on and Hughes has went for his pit stop and Davy Mack is holding on for dear life. Slower than expected into Paratella, Berg pulls back a little and gets turned around by the Dayglo BMW. Meanwhile, out in front, Dan Mathias is driving a sublime race and is stead away from all the trouble. As the pit stops shake out and darkness falls, Laurent Marl finds himself chasing down Mark Healy, who has fought his way through to fourth. The spaghetti car driver looks to have the edge at this time and is impatiently looking for a way past. As they come into Viazza once again, Healy leaves the door wide open and Marl goes for the yeet. The move itself was a good one, but Lauren couldn't scrub the speed off, and this time it was Healy on the receiving end. Always leave space. Don't do drugs. Healy is frustrated. He wants his fourth place back and flashes his lights in a vain attempt to make the French man ahead explode. As they fly down into Tamburello once again, the BMW can't get slowed, gives up and throws on its red swimsuit once again. Travis Cook has had hardware problems tonight. His stir lift is broken. Chris Mogg and the blue and white McLaren are having a great fight. And as they come to the closing stages of the race, it looks like the Mogg is going to hold on to his seventh place. It gets worse for Cook as now he has audio problems as well. And his autopilot duck takes over the controls as Travis sucks on some helium. Daffy has an awkward moment at Varianta Alti, but this duck has skills beyond anything Travis has dreamt of. Chris Mogg, sensing he may be ducked, decides, I said ducked, decides there's only one thing for it, the beach. From the last dodgy move of the BMW, Marl pulls off the overtake of the evening on Steve Hughes. He sets up the move in Tamburello and finishes it through Villeneuve. Superb! The battle for second is on and it'll be Leopardi, Hughes or Marl 
as they complete the last lap. It's all to play for. Dan strolls home to take the win. He could have stopped for a picnic at the beach. The beach. <laughs> and still won. Roger Leopardi holds on to second, with Lauren Marl third and Steve Hughes pushing hard just behind to take a solid fourth. And Mark comes home in fifth after an interesting race. So quite an event. Changeable conditions, getting slippy. We've got to learn these things. I'm glad we did it. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you on track.